Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pipping with War Diddy. I only got like 10 15 minutes with you guys right now um, because I got school. I got a, an appointment, doctor's appointment to go to before school. So I'm sorry for my printer acting up. I'm just shutting it down. So I, because I don't need it right now. So. So it would stop doing all that noise in the background. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to change the wick in the Kalita 120. Because I got a sparkle wick right here. I do a lot of vaping in this video. It's because I'm trying to empty out the tank. I don't have that much left as you can see. <clears throat> I'm not gonna waste juice. This cost me sixty dollars, guys. But that's not bad for like a hundred and twenty mil. It's not bad. Can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna get a good drink real quick here. <clears throat> I just don't want to waste the uh, juice, you know. I'm going to show you how to prime it and everything if you're new at this. So, if you're just joining me, <clears throat> this is this is an episode of with War Diddy number 7, guys. Number 7. You got a week's worth. I'm sorry about the long video yesterday. It was about almost 28 minutes. To a half hour. It was about 28 minutes and some odd seconds. So, that's why I'm getting like a peppery taste. I'm not even getting the flavor of the cream skull. <clears throat> that I, I like the menthol because it helps me loosen up my sinuses. I did have a stuffy nose, but now since I've been vaping and everything, I can't believe it took me a half hour to do that assignment, but... Oh, excuse me. So, it's about empty. So, what you want to do, you want to unscrew this is where you take notes. If you're a person that forgets. What you want to do, you want to unscrew this first, okay? <clears throat> then you take... Let me unscrew the tank first, because what just happened to just, like, pull the whole case out of it? Let me just get a... tissue out of my pocket here. You don't need it. 
And I gotta clean that. There's a lot of juice. There we go. And you'll and you'll get messy too. <clears throat> With your fingers and everything because of the wick is wet. Then you unscrew this piece here. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this to clean it out a little bit. To prevent any type of leaking. That should be good. And a wick will fairly burn. And there's no way to see the cotton in there. It's probably like black. But now I'm now I'm gonna clean this this part of it. Go. And this is just the wick here. I don't know why they put the plastic on it, but what you want to do? You want to screw. The, the where the threads are down into your oops that wasn't supposed to happen you want to make sure it's nice and snug in there like right on then what I usually do I put it on the mod And here comes the part where you need to take notes. What you want to do, you want to take your coil or your little thing here, do what I'm doing here with all the cotton pieces here. You just want to get them wet a little bit. You just want to paint the stuff on the coil and you put the glass piece back on and you fill the tank like usual just want to make sure everything may I forewarn you that if you don't prime it up correctly the wicks won't last as long or what it will burn you'll get a burnt nasty cotton burnt taste if you don't then what you want to do if you're new at this if you have a mod that you fire my actions so what you want to do is you want to dry hit the uh, tank here like this for 15 times like 15 draws 15 dry or whatever Without hitting the fire button, you want to go like this. There's around seven right there. So. So I did about 16 dry hits. And what you want to do, you want to leave that sit there for a few minutes before you hit off of it. Let it let the juice soak in there for a little bit, about maybe three minutes. That's what I always do. I always leave it sit for fifteen, <clears throat> not fifteen, but I usually let it sit for about um ten minutes, or not ten minutes. I usually let it sit for a few minutes, not that long, to get it wicked up and everything. Um, that's basically the tutorial here. Sometimes what you want to do 
to make sure you want to do two extra two or three extra like that to make double make sure the juice is getting whipped up into the coil now, uh, see how much wicked up already? I filled it. Filled it about an inch or so higher, and it went down. So, an inch. <laughs> so, um, that that shows your your wicking is wicking it up pretty good. It's, it's getting the coil soaked with juice. Then. And what I usually do, I usually lower the wattage down for at least two or three hits. In about a minute, I'll take a hit off of it to see if it's all wicked up. And, and make sure the airflow is open. This is one of the only videos that I'm going to be doing a tutorial on. go wide open so what I'm gonna do right now is take a hit off it at 113 and then at first you'll get uh, a cotton like taste then it'll eventually go away as you vape on it for the first maybe five minutes or so you'll get that taste And you should, then you should get full-on flavor. I just want to get the coil heated up. and That's what I usually do. A lot of people will do it, uh, you know, change the coil. Do what I just did and leave it overnight. But He'll be sitting here while I'm gone and... Probably when I get back after SmackDown, if I'm here in time, <laughs> I'm gonna see SmackDown. I'll um, I'll do I'll, I'll do another one after I'll do another episode of this, so you guys can you know see how much it's wet. See it went down below the coil here, as you can see, it went down below that. <laughs> As you guys can see there, it, it's wicking up quite nice. I'm not getting that burnt hit, I'm just getting a cotton taste. Which is normal when you change the wick, you're, when you have a fresh wick, guys. You'll be getting that cotton taste for the first initial hits, 10 hits or so. So I'm going to go over about five more minutes for you guys so I can get ready. All I got to do is just get dressed, change my shirt. And then you could raise the wattage up if you want. See, it's waking up quite nice. I was draining the tank. See the vapor consistency, it's a whole lot better now. As you guys can see the difference from when I was vaping on it before. The vapor consistency when the vaping then when the vapor consistency is is real thin, that means your coil is starting to go bad. And it's giving you a sign that you need to change it. See, I caught one of those little flying bugs in my hand. I went, <laughs> that's what you've seen if you didn't see a little black dot flying around. I went, 
snatch it out of the air, squeeze it, and I was going to show you, but then it just dropped somewhere. But. While this video is uploading, I can get dressed and everything, so. But. That taste will be there for a while. Not a while, but a little bit when you're first vaping on a new coil. And the last step is you throw the old coil out. So you don't get them confused, so you don't get that coil confused with a new coil. Because <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do after this video as well. That cotton taste is starting to go away. That means you did it correctly and But, but I hope you guys took notes <laughs> on it. It was a three-step process. I'm going to go over it again. Your first you want to do, when you have an old coil in there, you want to change it. You unscrew the top part. Then you take the glass piece out. Then when you take the coil out, you might have a little excess juice in there. And what I usually do... Sometimes I put the tissue right on the bad coil or paper towel right on the coil to unscrew it, but I didn't do it this time because um, it's dirty tissue I blew my nose in, <laughs> so that's why I didn't do that. I didn't need that all over, but if you don't want to mess, that's how you do it, but I usually tip the mod upside down, like I don't even know where the back to this is, but... My snow wolf, what I usually do, if the tank's on here, I usually tip it upside down where the wick is, right on the tissue here, and just then grab the the wick and just turn it and unscrew it with the tissue. That's what I usually do. Now you're ready to vape. But to end this episode, guys, let's take a vape toast. Um, if you haven't done so already, grab your EC or vape, whatever you want to call it. Let's do a vape toast to end this video. Three, two, one, go. And before I let you guys go, um, I want to tell you that if you do it overnight, you'll have better results, but in a tutorial like I did, I'm not going to sit, you know, and I want to show you how, how you're supposed to do it. So, and I'll see you guys, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.